Hey guys, this is Hera Tareen and make sure you watch Late Nights with Sohail Hashmi on the channel Visual Works only on YouTube. Late Night with Sohail Hashmi, it is so good to see you here tonight and thank you very much again for the comments that you've written today. We have not only a model and an actor, but a person who's got their own YouTube channel. She's also been a DJ, a very nice and bubbly personality. The one and the only Hera Tareen. The glorious and the beautiful Hera Tareen. How are you, my dear? I'm, I'm great. Glad Looking to be here. Absolutely lovely. Thank you. Good to, good to see you. It's been a long time. It really has. Mm. So long that you didn't even remember where we last met. Uh, yeah, but I was quite taken aback. I'm usually doing the interviewing, but now <laughs> you interviewed me on uh, yeah. uh, an FM radio station uh, about Ooh. 150 years ago. 150 years ago, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <Okay. laughs> it's pretty accurate. <laughs> now, I'm going to start this interview on a very strange note. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes. Like how strange, how like exile is kind of strange or... Is what am I doing, Swell Hashmi, mm -hmm. looking at a YouTube channel okay. that is yours, which is so good and so serious. Aww. And this is when I go to the gym and this is what I do and that is what I never do. <laughs> I want to do that. I'm starting moving my legs up and down. <laughs> Tell me about this. When did this happen? It's really good. Thank YouTuber. you. 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 You, 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 YouTuber, you. <laughs> Tell me. Well, um, I think it all began uh, when I was expecting my daughter. Right, okay. Because I was um, kind of like a bedridden patient and I, I was just like, okay, what do I do with my life right now? It's kind of boring. I'm in bed. I really can't get up, can't really do anything. Right. So then I started to watch a lot of YouTube videos right. in my bedroom um, on the TV. I would cast them like, you know, from my phone and I'd right. start watching what, what am I supposed to eat? You know, what, what are the right, good, healthy things to eat oh, while I'm right. pregnant yes, yes, and all yes. these. So then I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, all of these videos, they're all like getting so many views and I'm like binge watching them one after the other wow. and not getting bored. And so then I was like, okay, that's number one, that's interesting. The other aspect was that I always felt um, any work that I did in Pakistan was always kind of dictated wow. uh, or controlled, uh, you know, by somebody else. By somebody else, that's right. Somebody, somebody else, else right? is the person, somebody right. else is yeah. the producer, somebody so, else is the art director, somebody else is, <laughs> is somebody else is that. You know? yeah, yeah, I told, yeah. Yeah, I told you. You get it, right? I, I got it, I get it. Yeah. So I always wanted to um, have some sort of a platform where I felt like I could just be myself. Right. And I didn't right. have to play a character. Because mm -hmm. um, back then, either people saw me on like at Fashion Week runways or they saw me in some sort of a character on television. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so if there interviews, hote bhi the, mm -hmm. they were more, you know, controlled or directed. The narrative was directed by the channel. So you wanted to take control. Oh, yeah. That's it. I am I a control that. freak. Uh, the, yeah, so the Leo in me wanted to have control. So I was like, you know what? I'm like, I kind of also knew a lot of like editing and graphic and because that's what I did before I moved to so Pakistan. Yeah. Okay, okay. I actually, just learned. Okay. Actually, you've really, really nailed it because ev everything that I do, like I also play like, you know, tabla, I play like uh, bongos. You play tabla? Yeah, I do. Can like, you do something? Yeah, but this is a table, and which really is interesting. Hard, 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 hard. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> wow, ladies and gentlemen. My <laughs> skills are a little rusty, but what you know. What would we say? Would we say tablacist? Tablasis? No, tabla nawaz. Tabla nawaz. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Actually, tabla is something I tabla kind of. This is a nice word. Tabla is nice. Put an ist on it. Yeah, you I know. like it. Oh. I like it a lot. Right, 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 right. So um, that's something I got into by accident, actually, because mm -hmm. I, have, when I was eight, I really, or no, nine, I really wanted a doll. Was and it eight and a half or eight and three quarters or um, eight and maybe no, possibly it was nine. nine? It was One nine. One month before nine. <laughs> Tell it me, nine. what date? Oh, right, exactly okay, nine. Okay, it was my birthday. My hey, ninth hey. birthday. <laughs> no. So um, I wanted a doll because I was into percussions ever since I was little. And um, I saw a tabla at somebody's house and I really begged my mom. I'm like, I want, I want that mom. And she's like, okay, but we don't know if she's selling it or not. But it just so happens that she was selling it. You've got moving. some great parents. 
Yeah, yeah, you I do. You've got great parents. For sure, I do. Right. For so, sure. So I, I got those for tablas. Sure. Okay. For sure. For sure. Love it. Okay. Shizzle. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I brought them home and I started playing them, right? And I'm right. like, okay, this probably, you know, just plays like a doll. But it was nothing, 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 nothing like a doll. It was so complex. And for me, that was like a good challenge to kind of learn I what the tabla is all about. I wish we could have had a little tabla here for you if we would have known. I don't play the traditional way because I never really like took it seriously. But I do definitely Jazz play it. Tabla. Yeah, yeah. I kind Jazz of do a little hip hop yeah, 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 and good, all good, that. Good, but good, tabla good, is good. difficult. Okay. But anyways, back to the YouTube. That's how it happened is right. that... Um, you know, the whole editing background that I had mm -hmm. and the whole kind of, you know, creative background that I had, right. I combined it with my on-screen kind of thing. And I'm like, why not share with people? Mm -hmm. And the fact that, like, I was constantly getting messages from people about, hey, you know, where did you get that shirt from? Uh, where, you know, where do you go to do this? Where do you work out? So when I kind of saw that pattern happening, I'm like, people are interested in what I'm doing. So let's see if I share with them. When I when I saw that, uh, quite a few feelings, you know, what am I doing watching this channel? I'm a middle-aged man. <laughs> That's okay. You know, and I, but it was so sincere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where, but anybody, anywhere in the world could actually learn something from it. I said, yeah, I must, if I ever do meet her again, congratulate her on her channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. So now tell me. Did you? Tell you. Have you ever tried doing one of my makeup tutorials? No, but I'd like to learn. <laughs> uh, no, I tell you, I'd like to learn. Just kidding. Um, no, I'm just kidding. My producers I hope you haven't. do a lot of my makeup here. I said, no, I <laughs> love the producers. See, throw it here. Take that, take that, take that. Okay, and just. Uh, anyway, and that's yeah, it. yeah. So it looks okay with it. Everything we're doing everything it ourselves. Would, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, in 2013, a very excited young man. Mm -hmm. A bit on the lanky, tall side, came over to my show. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you've seen that show. Um, and he was extremely excited because something really amazing had happened to that man. And that was he had got engaged. And he was really excited. Uh, that type of thing. Uh, I have and, no idea you know, what you're talking about. And the parents are talking. I don't think he gave me the name, but he was like, ah! And um, the girly whirly. Happened to be you. Yeah. It was you yes. that he was getting married to. I had no idea that he came he, yeah, yeah, on yeah, your yeah, show yeah. when we were engaged. And he married you. Yes. Yes. And was is he still that excited with you? As excited as he was when he came to my show, when he came to my show about you? I... Do you keep him excited? <laughs> I think we would have to ask him that, I but, that. but okay, what's the uh, Alina, Ali Safina? Yeah. Take okay. You could totally call him right now. Uh, I, I know. You could I'm totally call him and ask him. Hey, are sure. you still as excited about her as you were before? Uh, no. I think one of the qualities of Ali that immediately uh, I loved about him, and that what got me, right? Very what cool. got me. No, very, very that, cool. it wasn't that necessary. Hello. <laughs> I could fall in love with you. Hey, I could love you. Hello. Actually, was that the thing? No, it was, well, that wasn't the I'm thing. dizzy, I'm dizzy. That wasn't the thing. Actually, the thing was that I noticed that he was always consistent in different environments and also in front of different people. Like, uh, you know, he would never behave differently. He would always be him, right? Mm. And that I've, like, I've continued to see that in the past, like, eight, like, I don't know how many years Pakistan we've been together now. consistency. Yeah. Fantastic. Pakistan Which is very rare. And consistency. It's very rare to find anywhere in the world, actually. Well, actually, I'm like, I have found some consistent people. I, I won't look to my left-hand side. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. No, it so, is, yeah. it is. It's... It's... it's dant jo hai, yeah. Bahut khubsurat hai. Thank you. Matlab hai, aapki aankhi aur aapki naak aur wo jo... Dimples I wish I had dimples. But but I mean, I can't oh my God, really re reveal my toothpaste to you right now because. No, no, you do something. Yeah. You do. Yeah, but I can't reveal that to you. No, but they're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. People look at women's eyes and nose and lips and hair. I Find myself, looking at my teeth? Seriously, looking at your teeth. Uh, I've been, I've been dazzled by them. <laughs> since you, oh my God, hair again. Okay, now so I'm, much light now. everywhere. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know if that's a good thing. If it's a very all good you're thing. looking at is my teeth. No, no, no. no it's a no. very good thing. 
Mashallah, beti, mashallah. Thank you, Ji. We'll, Thank we'll, you. we'll take the beti bit out. But <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. Now, we have a couple of segments um, on uh, this uh, program that uh, we talk to with our guests. One okay. of them, I'm going to go uh, because we've been so happy and so cheerful. Yes. Let's okay. kill all that and okay. let's become really depressive and stuff. And, uh, oh, no. It's about time. Uh, and this section is called Deepings. Deep? Deepings. Deepings. D-E-P-I-N-G-S. Deepings. D -E -P. It's a Pakistani word which was just made about uh, about a month ago. And it basically means to go deep into something. Oh, deepings. Deepings, honey, yeah. Deepings. I see. Okay, I see what you did there. No, thank you very much indeed. Okay. Deepings. In deep conversation, mm -hmm. um, when one of the questions is, uh, what is your favorite food? In deep conversation, one of the questions that I would like to ask you, Okay. Uh, sincerely, Sure. Madam, with the lovely necklace again, which is so sparkly. <laughs> and my teeth. Sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. Sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. Anyway, I'm not mad. I'm just getting there. Um, and that is that is there a monopoly in the media business here in Pakistan? Do you see that? Do you face that? Um, that is one of the questions I want to ask you and how you feel about it, if it is or what your points of view are in this when it comes to dramas or when it mm. comes to modeling or when it comes to other things do you feel that there's a kind of a grouping or something or something that maybe is is serious but the young people the old people or the people who are doing it don't know about it your views are you talking about nepotism could be or if that's monopoly? the way you yeah if you feel i mean something that you Look, feel is i feel like there's a monopoly in every industry every country there all there's always a monopoly by the mm. more stronger kind of companies right. and then you know they take over the smaller ones okay so if you're talking about monopoly in that way yes that exists in a mm -hmm. corporate way whether it comes to channels Act or hiring actors or actresses uh on the on the on the walk being a model doing other things do you feel that it could be difficult sometimes and if you do feel that what would you feel that the, the solution would be okay one thing that i do sometimes think about a lot oh. is the whole nepotism uh, debate or argument, right? And mm -hmm. in fact, I was just talking about it with Ali and Zara mm -hmm. yesterday. And we were discussing, we're like, you know, nepotism, ek cheez hai, that people look at it as, you know, uh, if somebody is somebody's son or daughter, they have an upper hand, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which they do, right? Mm -hmm. But it's also tougher mm -hmm. for them in right. some sense. In a, because, see, it's not just about getting that big break. It's mm -hmm. also about then maintaining it. Yes, maintenance right? is very important. So, yep. so it, it yep. makes, it's actually more challenging if you already have a famous person in your family mm -hmm. and then you have to prove yourself mm -hmm. and you have to maintain that popularity. Sure, you're mm -hmm. going to get that opportunity. You're mm -hmm. going to get your foot in the door. Mm -hmm. But then how are you going to maintain it mm -hmm. if you're not good enough? Mm -hmm. So I feel like people who are the daughters and sons of famous people, mm -hmm. yes, they do have an upper hand in a way that I never did because mm -hmm. uh, when I first came to Pakistan, I had no idea what I was about to deal with. Mm -hmm. I had no idea about the kind of uh, ethics or lack of mm -hmm. that I was going to deal with. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have that kind of training. <laughs> these days, what I see a lot, which is good for these girls and boys that are coming mm -hmm. in the industry, is that from day one, you see them and they're like trained and we don't have any training institutions. So I'm like, where are these people getting trained at? Like, mm -hmm. how do they know how to behave right away? And mm -hmm. behavior ka mera maksad ye hai ki unko exactly pata hota hai ki hame kya nakhre karne hai, kaha nakhre karne hai, kaha nahi karne hai, kaha adayen dikhani hai, kaha nahi karni. Wo saari cheeze unko kahi na kahi se pata chalti hai. So that is one upper hand people have when they have been in families where they've been watching how does mm -hmm. you know my parent or my mom or my dad deal in money situations do they let certain things go do they kind of fight about everything or how does that happen so that for people like me mm -hmm. who don't necessarily have those kind of roots or connections mm -hmm. um in the industry it's kind of like i have to it's like a you know i have to learn the hard way mm -hmm. i have to make some mistakes and but you know that's what also makes it special for me um so yeah, it, it does exist. But then again, I'm not going to say it's like a walk in the park for people who are daughters and sons of famous people. It's not easy for them either. Do you see a therapist? <laughs> Should I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after this show, I might. 
<laughs> or do therapists come and no, see you? No, on a serious note, ah, <laughs> that's, right, that would okay. be nice too. No, on a serious uh, note, therapy, um, I, I'd have considered it so many times, mm. but it's always like, you know, it always comes down to the thing of kind of being a public figure and yes. not trusting people enough with mm -hmm. your personal information. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, I've America considered say, it. I'm going to go and see my analyst, and that's fine. Go, come back. And yeah. it's, it's good to talk. Yeah. It's good to yeah. talk. Yeah, it is good to it's talk. It's good to talk. You know? This is therapy right now. Yeah. This is therapy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my free therapy right. session. Okay. <laughs> Am I very therapeutic? Um, kind of. In a way. In a way, yeah. Oh, God. It's, yeah. That, it's that daddy thing, right? It's <laughs> Everything will be all right. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, Beta. Sab kush sahi ho jayega. <laughs> and we will all be happy <laughs> yeah. before we die. Yeah, right? before we okay. die. Okay. All right. No, no, great, great, great. Good to know about these things. And, uh, you know, really nice to, uh, nice to know. Now, I, there's another subject I want to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is, you're not a good, great, or a wonderful actress um, unless you have uh, likes on cer certain social media. I mean, I've been hearing about this over the last four or five months. First, I laughed. Yeah. I thought, <clears throat> what happens? You know, you become stars over, uh, you know, Instagram or something. Yeah. And uh, then you get called up because you've got so many followers. Yeah. Can you explain this thing to me? I mean, uh, is, this, is this a problem? Is this actually happening? It is tell happening. Tell me, tell me. You were <laughs> 58,296 people most probably on your Instagram. Am I correct? No, oh. no, it's the thing is that like, you know, again, wali baad aa jati hai ke, um, I just find like now sponsors or people who are in the business of mm. making films, dramas, they've just figured out a way to quantify the situation mm. and how big their risk is or not, right? right. I mean, we can't really hate on them either. They're putting money in, right? So they're, mm. they're just try wanting to know that either se hume return milega ye badi risk hai ya ye to definitely hit hit you know that kind of a thing which is it's never right it's never 100% accurate like just because somebody has like 10 million followers right. doesn't mean all of those followers are good or high quality followers mm. they could just be a bunch of people from different walks of life and mm. they don't necessarily uh, you know watch one single kind of thing like yes. like yes. there's so many diff different kinds of people that follow me mm -hmm. they're not all gonna watch a drama that I'm gonna be in you know so um, I think uh, I don't blame people for trying to quantify or trying to figure out or assess the risk situation mm -hmm. before casting somebody but it's also kind of stupid in a way because <clears throat> not all actors are uh, you know content creators or not all actors are good at Instagram and they don't have to be their actors, right? Yes. But I also don't want to bash social media yeah. because to be honest, if it wasn't for social media, I wouldn't have survived in the entire past two years of like COVID and stuff. Yes, uh, I yes, survived yes, yes. solely based on like sponsorship, shout outs, this, that. Uh, to be honest, if that didn't uh, exist. No, no, on a serious so, note, I would like to reiterate again, you've done some amazing work in this time, really. And uh, I say that to you. you. I think it's, it's, it's a really, really very, very good. Thank you. No, that I, really means a lot, actually. You no, know, I, I, and I think, you know, when I meet her, you know, I can't phone her. Ali, uh, introduce me to your wife. Uh, do, it, do, do it quickly. Uh, you know, yeah, it doesn't work like that, but, uh, you know, that's very good. Now, um, social media, you've said a lot of good things about it. We have a section here called Mean Tweets. Okay. okay. Mean Tweets or Mean mean Comments, actually. Okay. Uh -oh. Mean Comments. Do you, a person like you who's beautiful and got pearls for teeth, mm -hmm. you've got pearls for teeth. She's Ding. got pearls for teeth. <laughs> Pearly pearls. whites. Right. Uh, the 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 comments that you get, mean comments. What kind of comments do you get? The mean comments that I get, huh? Um, it kind of depends on what kind of photo I put up. Have they hurt you? These mean comments. Yes. They have. Ooh, that's very truthful. Yeah. That got me there. It does hurt Asha. sometimes. Okay. It hurts. <laughs> no, I'm just, it does hurt. Without telling me what the mean tweets were, but just give me an idea what kind of tweets you could have got. You know, people over here have a way of um, <clears throat> age bashing a lot when it comes to women, okay. which I find really funny and interesting because oh, that's a good point. Uh, women, uh, like, people over here think that, you know, if they call, okay, these are, by the way, these aren't the hurtful ones. I'm mm -hmm. just telling you the funny ones right now. Mm -hmm. I, 
I, whatever has happened to me has pretty much happened, I'm sure, to every other female right. media personality. Being called auntie, oh, the baji, age. All right. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with those titles except mm. why do you have to define me by my relationship to somebody else? Like, why? And, and also, why is being an auntie a bad thing according to you? Or, For or me, some it's sweet? the most wonderful thing yeah. in the world. I or, love aunties. Anyway. Or calling right. somebody buddhi. Right? right? So so age is such a derogatory thing that I find it funny here that why are people so afraid of growing old here? Mm. Because mm. then why does that become a put down? Mm. Okay, if, even if I am an auntie or even if I am buddhi, mm. so is Meryl Streep. Right. Look at how brilliant she is. I'm not afraid of aging. Yes, mm. everybody wants to look good and be forever graceful and beautiful and all of that and there's nothing wrong with that but why is that a put down number one that's one thing if i, don't I could age gracefully that would be a lovely prayer growing old is one you have aged age. gracefully aren't you like 102 or something 105 <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I, am, I, am, I am okay if we would have met 150 years ago you would be in trouble i know you. right I'm i would pretty old mm -hmm. i'm pretty old i'm pretty old Mm. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, and so this, stuff this. like that, you know, related to age, um, physical appearance. Um, mm. It's funny because people are always criticizing women or men about going under the knife or you know making modifications to whatever. Mm -hmm. But then it's those same people who are always making such negative comments about them. Right. So then, how do you blame them? How do you blame people mm -hmm. for making those changes when you're always? you know, trolling under them if they don't, if, mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. either you accept people the way they are naturally, mm -hmm. or then, you know, once, once they do mm -hmm. what, what they feel like doing, what makes them happy, then you let them be happy. So with all this terrible, um, for sake of a better word, bullshit going on, mm. um, how do you, and what can you say to people uh, of how to deal with this? How do you deal with it? Okay, I'm happy that you said, I'm, you know, I get hurt. Yeah. You are, you are a human being. Yeah. I mean, you're not an alien. An alien. Yeah. You're a human being, right? Yeah. You, you, uh, I think so. You've checked. Mm. You've checked everything. I don't yeah, know. No? After the vaccine, okay. I don't know. Okay. All right. If things um, are so, yeah. still the same. So what would you say? How do you take it? Because um, you're, uh, you're a mother, you're a wife, you're a model, you're an actress, you have a, a YouTuber. There's so many more things to you, and there's so many more things to people in different facets that they have. Yeah. yeah. How do you deal and cope with it? And is there something that you could tell us, or maybe we could learn about this? Because this is a problem. This is a problem. Yeah. You know, it aging, is a you're fat, or you're this, or you're that. You're very things are very bad things. We have to eradicate it. And over here, they don't seem to have this thing as we do in the West. Ke, you know, Mind your own business, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, Apne aapko sahi karo. Please mind your own business. Don't get too personal. I th kind of also think it, like I think. I think that it. Uh, uh, I think it comes with the territory. Hai, you know. Huh. Uh, criticism comes with the territory, and it's just something that because of social media, people mm. have the ability to now immediately express their feedback. Right. Because otherwise, before social media, people were, were still probably thinking it, but they had nowhere to type it, right? Mm -hmm. So the unfortunate part now is that fortunate and unfortunate, because mm -hmm. we are getting instant feedback, both good and bad. Mm -hmm. So the good part is that you know you immediately know when somebody likes something you do because they say, "Wow, I love it!" Yeah, wo, 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 they, those things make you feel good too, right? Yeah, yeah. If I never know if somebody likes my performance. Mm -hmm that would also have an effect on me too, right? Mm -hmm. Like, how did people know in the first time that their work was liking people? Only if you went to the public, if people came and said that we saw your drama, we liked it, we liked it. That's really the only way you would know, right? Yeah, but then again, you know, if, you, if you're in the thing, you, you get better and you get more eloquent and you get more seasoned. Yeah, um, but I guess what I'm trying to say here is that there's yes, three ways um, I deal with it. Heratreen, what is it that you're trying to say? Well, if you would let me, Mr. Yeah. Soil Hashmi, I Hi, would yes. like maybe like Thank to so get on Thank with my point here. Thank you. So, yeah. here's three ways how I deal with negative criticism. We, we got there. <laughs> right. We got there. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, Ali, 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 Ali,
ignore it if it's not that bad, right? If it's not that serious, if it's just like a, a auntie agrio or fazool kind of a thing, I'll be like, okay, ignore. Mm -hmm. If it's inappropriate, mm -hmm. if it's vulgar, mm -hmm. and if it's making me feel like I'm harassed or threatened, mm -hmm. then I definitely report it to all the you know, FIA, yeah. Yevo, Cybercrime, Har jaga pe main jake karti hun report aaj kal to. Theek hai? That's an, good, yeah. Good, good, and everybody good, good, should, good, by good, the way. Good, there good, are good. places you guys can. Uh -huh. Don't get discouraged if their process is long. They mm. will eventually, even if it's two years later, they will come back to you. Good. And that recently happened to one of my cousins uh, who was getting harassed a lot on uh, social media mm -hmm. and she reported it. Unfortunately, it didn't happen soon enough, but mm -hmm. two years later, they yeah. did say, do you want to pursue uh -huh. it? We can still go after Good. the guy, you know? I'm, I'm waiting for the third one. The before third we, one is... Before we go to the third one, I mean, is everybody in your family so pretty? Um, you, your mom, your sister, your, are you all pretty people? I mean, what, are you all pretty people? A bunch of pretty anymore? people, huh? Uh, a bunch of pretty people? Oh, yeah, what can you do? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. So much prettiness. Yeah, thank okay, you. Okay, okay. That's point really number three. Sweet. Point number three. Okay, point number three is that you learn from it. Sometimes people sound mean, it hurts you, but if you're seeing a pattern of people, a lot of people saying the same thing, then you start to see a little bit of truth in it, and you start to say, okay, maybe I could kind of turn this into constructive criticism rather than filter out the negativity like, mm. and just make it into something that, okay, I see what they're saying right. and work on it okay. and improve yourself. Okay. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my three ways of dealing with negativity. Fantastic. Where's the slow clap? I don't hear the slow clap. Pain <laughs> laughter. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. oh, we, we, have a, we have a section here called uh, Try Not to Laugh. Okay. Um, you, of course, will say, try not to laugh. <laughs> I won. Okay. So, because, you know, this is, this is okay. the proper way to speak English, I feel. Not... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry. Oh, uh, no. But, are oh we going to go... Oh, my God. Have I... Are we going to go I there? I insulted another continent? Oh, no, no, I don't mean to do that. Are we no, no, doing, no, no. like, this British versus American English no, kind of thing? No, absolutely not. Are Why we? should we, um, you know? Uh, but, but I want to... Thank the Americans for learning English. Um, very nice of them. And, uh, I also want to thank them for taking the U out of color. Like, it's completely unnecessary. N I G H T, nice. Flavor. Oh, no, it's just flavor. Night. Night. Yeah. There's no need for a U there. N I T E, night. That's it, you know. <laughs> N I T E, night. No, that would be nit. No, that would be nit. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, what's written over here? Negat auntie. Ah, negat yeah. auntie. Yeah, late negat. How is she, by the way? Um, she's all right. I she's doing well. Her. Asks I about really you a lot. Her. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Talks about me a lot. Wo kider gum gaya sohi lash. Me kider hai wo. Chala gaya wo. Don't know. So don't don't uh, tell her about. You know, I okay. won't. Right. Okay. Now, um, right. Okay. The segment. So in this segment, what we do is, or what I try and do is, or what we try and make happen is, of course, we get a little close. And um, oh. we look at each other. Okay. Is that bearable for you? I mean, can you take it? I can. How long is the segment again? Two seconds. So, and That's we look fine. at each other. My job or whatever the situation is, is to make you laugh. Okay. Or make you smile, if I can, okay. if I can do that. Okay. And if you smile, um, the whole world smiles a bit. No, if you smile, mm -hmm. then um, what happens is that I, I win. If you don't smile, then... I lose. Mm -hmm. It's all I, 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 I. It doesn't mean to be like that. It's all about it's, you, it's, isn't it's, it, huh? It's, it's, it's all about It's all about you. It's all about you. It is your you. show. Yeah. You, your beauty, and those. And it, anyway, we'll talk about teeth. We'll mention the yeah. teeth again. Yeah. Stop but trolling I, my teeth. I want prescription. Anyway. Yeah. Um, right. So. Is, has it started? Uh, it's it's going to start now. Just okay. look at Look at me. Isn't that funny enough? No. 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 What's that noise? It sounds like, uh, I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what's going on right now. It's just cut my hair. Oh, okay. It's not what you were thinking. I wasn't thinking anything. What were you thinking? I was thinking dirty things and horrible things. Well, that, I'm really sorry to hear that you think like that. I know, but you won this. I won it! I won it! It's not 
it's so easy to make me laugh. No, but that, no. It's a tie. No, it's not. It's not. The game was over. The game was over. I won. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, no, there's two or three other parts of this. Oh, okay. It's not that easy. Okay. It's not that simple. I wish it would be. They don't make it that way. To me, you're like a buddy from Bermuda. <laughs> Without the shorts, of course. So. Yeah, so. Yeah. I don't know why that's funny. It's, it's just pretty good, huh? It's pretty, a good one. Pretty, pretty good buddy from that's Bermuda. Okay. Um, I hope not the Bermuda Triangle, though, because... Look ooh, at me. I am look. looking at you. <laughs> is this still the contest of me trying not to laugh? No, it's yes, you, you laughed. <laughs> I did but laugh. I, I'm beginning to think, you know, what people have to do to earn lakhs and lakhs of rupees per episode, and these are the kind of things Gosh, we have to say, my God. Life is tough. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Um, now, <laughs> I love you. Kira, this is one of the sections that we call film noir. So, this is black and white. Mein hota hai. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very short. It's not, it's not very long. Okay. But um, uh, what we do is we go into a black and white situation. Okay. And then, as actors, we deal with it. Okay. And we go on it with a... Hira, hira, hira. I've been looking for you all over the world. I started from Karachi, Patel, Pada. And I've traveled all over the world to come here hora, 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 to hora. Bermuda to find oh, you. Hold on one second. What did you just call me? Hera. That ain't my name. So what's your name? Kya hai? Now what you talking about this Bermuda? You ain't in Bermuda. You in Dallas, Texas. He, he said this is Bermuda. Well, I don't know about him, but I'm telling you right now that this ain't no Bermuda. And ain't nobody got time for yourself. <laughs> Where did you get that accent? Well, I, I grew up in Dallas. You did? I did. I'm I so did. sorry. And I had a... Oh, okay. Excuse, excuse me? Hold <laughs> no. on one second. What would you say about that? <laughs> Excellent, so, Maya. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you. Thank Excellent. you. Yeah, I grew up with, you know, people that I grew up with. And so, I, you know, you hear a lot of different accents and you pick up on some of them. So, yeah. <laughs> Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, the future, my dear. Not what's going to happen, because we don't, after COVID, we don't even know yeah. whether we're going to be here long enough or another 50, 100 years. We, we don't know. But yeah. Oh, it's in the hand of uh, our Father God. Yes. Acha, what do you see yourself? Because uh, I see a very exciting future for you because of the way you are and who you are. But where do you see yourself going in the future? What do you intend to, to do? Hmm in the future when you I'm sure you must have thought about it because uh, I do think about it you're a mummy yeah yeah I do think about the future but you know one of the things that I've uh, kind of recently discovered mm. is that yes you can plan for the future because that's what keeps you going on a daily basis is doing work for the future mm. but then again um, I feel like just Waking up every day, spending the day with my daughter and just having a nice day with her and just staying alive and not yes, being yes, sick yes, or yes. not having a sick family member yes, or not having yes, to deal yes. with something like that. Mm. That in itself is such a blessing these days that, mm. um, yes, I'm working towards a lot of big plans in the future. But mm. again, those are only plans and only God knows what mm. will happen tomorrow, right? So, so the um, answer to this question, Hirad, the answer to this question, um, well, what do you intend to see for yourself in the future is? What do you see in the future for me? You said you see something exciting. I want to know what you, what, see, what, you, what you see in the future. Oh, from the very little bit I've seen for you, I think you are... Uh, I've got to say nice things about you now. Yeah, you do. Don't want to do that. Just fishing for compliments, yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, from what I've seen, I mean, please do take direction. Please do take the teaching from... Uh, teaching 
uh, because you're a very sincere teacher. Mm. Uh, and that can work in many different ways. I mean, you may not want to hear that, but me as a marketeer mm -hmm. has seen that. You explain things to people very well. Maybe there, there could be some documentary work uh, that um, you can do. I'm sure you do all the above anyway. But uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff, so I see you doing really well. Now, can you please answer the question, my That's dear? really interesting that you said all that. That right. teaching. Yeah, yes, I've yes, thought yes, about you, that you have, too. Huh? Because, but, but you, like you said, I'm already doing it. it. YouTube video, dekhra. Yeah, and you're actually watching I'm it. Like, what am I doing here? I don't know, the age range is a bit, you know. Yeah. But she's doing this and she's done it. Excellent channel. Yeah. So, that, that you're, so you're a teacher. It doesn't matter what the age is. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I, I just think that my plans are to expand uh, on whatever that I'm currently doing and sort of unifying because I used to have a clothing brand as well. Yes. So launching um, not just a clothing brand, but perhaps something else like another product. I actually have that in my that. notes that you have a cl clothing brand. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, and so, so to bring that back out and rebrand that, but also to unify um, Hira Tareen and what the whole brand is, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, television, film, clothing, any other products. Uh, so personal branding um, and just uh, hopefully, you know, coming out with something I mean, my dream has always been to, you know, make or invent something that really impacts a lot of lives. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll ever get to do that, but you I will. You, know, you will. You say it. It'll go. Yeah, the universe, yeah. It'll come back. It'll happen. So that's what I want to do. Tell me what you want to do. Go on. Yeah, tell me but what like you the five-year plan is just to like, you know, be able to um, continue doing what I love, okay. which is what I'm already doing. So really, I don't have, mm -hmm. um, you know, those big dreams because I al already feel like I'm living the dream, to be honest. Okay. Because I'm, you know, I'm I'm getting to spend time with my family. I'm getting to do uh, the things I love, which is to create content. I'm getting to be on television. I'm getting you've to got, do these interviews. Me. Yes. And you know, life is good. Life Alhamdulillah. Is good. Good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Well, before I say bye bye to you, um, I would like to make a uh, a call to uh, a gentleman, uh -oh. uh, Ali Safina, the Italian. Uh, the Safinas are Italians. They're <laughs> They have been into shoemaking for a long time. They're designers. Oh. So I want to talk to him. I want to put him on speaker. Okay. And uh, I want to see the question which I asked you. I said, well, you have to ask him and everybody forgets about it. I don't forget. Oh my I God. don't forget. So let me see if I can uh, <laughs> get him uh, on. Uh, you know, when you want to find something, it's very difficult to do that. Is that the sexy oh, Mr. Ali Safina? Hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Fine, yeah. I've been uh, trying to find Hira. She was supposed to be here about an hour ago. Don't know where she is. Any ideas? Are you serious? That's a joke. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, now, you thank know. you. Okay, Can sir, you sir. let that go for a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to Now, the question that I wanted to uh, <laughs> talk to you about, because she said, well, you have to go and ask him anyway. I said, can I flirt with her? He said, well, you have to go and ask. I don't have a problem. He'll have a problem. So, you know, there was this question I asked her, and if you can participate in this, uh, Ali, are you up to it? Uh, the question, can I know the question? Yes, let me tell you what the question is. Yes, yes. The, the question is, I told her that a very handsome young man uh, came to see me on television in 2013. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that handsome tall boy um, was very excited because he didn't give me the name, but he says he's got engaged to this beautiful girl and the families are talking and there could be a marriage. Do you remember that program, uh -huh. right? And, uh -huh. and I said to her that this boy was so happy and so excited with you. After all these years, is he still happy and excited with you? So I just needed the answer. Oh, wow. Of course. <laughs> she has just said she is so happy that you've said that. Can you imagine if you wouldn't have done that? How embarrassing this would have all been for all of us. I know, I know. What a pressure for you. A lot of pressure, yeah. and uh, you, know, you know how things are. I know how things are. He doesn't want to sleep on the couch, obviously. Oh. So he's oh. gonna, you know. You don't, don't want to sleep on the couch. couch. No, so he's gonna. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ali Meri Jan, lovely to see you. We're going to be calling you on the show very shortly. So look forward to seeing you. See you, Thank you very much. See you soon, Meri Jan. Thanks for not embarrassing me. Thank you for not embarrassing any one of us. Not even me. Oh. There you go. He said to me, are you serious? 
His heart came out yeah. of his chest. I was like, what? What have you done to this man? What do you do to this man? Mm. How many years of marriage? Um, Mashallah. Well, uh, eight now? Eight? Wow. Yes, Mashallah. He really loves you. Yes. What's why would on? he not? What's going on? Oh, eight I, mean, pretty good. I mean, why would I not love him? And also, oh. why would he not love me? I haven't even asked well, about you Well, there could be yet. a lot of, of reasons, maybe. but yeah. He's so tall, dark, and handsome, and all the rest of it, and got this constant smile on his face. And yeah. You know, I have a confession to make. Okay. Uh oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. One of those. Yeah. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I do miss those lovely photographs of you and Zara together oh. that you used to do and put on Facebook. <clears throat> I miss those photographs. You mean the photo shoots that we used to do together? Beautiful. Huh? The photo shoots that we used to produce together? Yes, together, yes. H yes, and yes. Z? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It was Bada beautiful. It was... Ek, uh, bo kya na? Z pe namak Nain, yaar. Yeah. It was beautiful. It I was a beautiful it such a thing. Happy feel out of it. We yeah. all were happy. Look at them, they're gorgeous. <coughs> yeah. Look. Uska, all you right. mean modeling together or producing the shoots together? Modeling and producing or whatever yeah. it was, you just both of you look so nice together. We did, we yeah. did, and I don't know why we, we're not doing that anymore. Like we should be in more photographs together. We should be produ producing things together. Yes. So, but I'll tell you why. W what happens is both of us are alpha personalities, and our dad made us that. I thought week. this could go on for three hours. You're going. Actually, alpha personality. Both of us right. are okay. very alpha. Right. And so she has her own, you know, way of looking at things. I have my own way of looking at things. And when things started to kind of, you know, come in the way of our personal like sisterhood mm -hmm. that's when we had taken a break from it and we were like you know what okay let, let's let this rest a bit and maybe we'll come back to it when we need to and we do occasionally come back to it when we need to for the sake of Suhail Hashmi <clears throat> yeah yeah we will late Inshallah. night um, late night <laughs> is there a thing that you could get back because it was a very happy feeling the country got it was a very happy feeling oh, your friends got it was a very so happy feeling to me. so you did a lot of good work both of you together we did so that was and I uh, know that that kind of work we never individually did after that. Squeeze it out. I get paid for that, Ma. But to do this over here. Okay, okay, right. Kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I would like to take this opportunity. We've gone 15 hours of time. I would like to take this opportunity. How lovely it has been to talk to you. It really has been too. Buddy Pal from Bermuda. Lovely to have me here. It's wonderful to have you here. And thank you so much. No, thank you so much. You know, I knew it was going to be lovely when I heard your name. Mm, thank you, thank you. So, thank yeah. You, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, a little blessing. awkward, but yeah, lovely. <laughs> this is very awkward. I'm one of those awkward guys. So anyway. awkward, guys. This so is I'll, awkward. Are we done yeah. yet? So, I look forward to seeing you um, in the future. Yes. I inshallah. look forward to seeing these photographs between you and uh, your sister and anyone else. You've really motivated me now. Now I'm going to go back to her, give her a big hug, and be like, mm. come on, sister, let's do something again. That's right. Tell us yeah. what he said. I will. Thank you. You want God the credit, bless. don't you? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. I also would like uh, Ali Safina and also Zara Tareen here as well, but uh, looking forward to that as well in the future. Inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. Well, this was so much fun. Thank and you. And I wish you all the best in this show. You're lovely. And I wish that, you know, you're lovely. We could get rid of that and put my name there. Hira. Soil and, and Hira. I, I'm okay Hira. with your name being first. Okay. That's fine too. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you. Thank there you. There we Thanks have for ladies watching. and gentlemen, the lovely, the beautiful, the talented uh, Hira Tareen. Uh, very, very happy that she came to the show and looking forward to seeing her again later on. I'm going to see you in the next episode because uh, I can see behind the camera as well. Yeah. You're looking pretty good. Uh, I'll see you again next week. Thank you, Khudafis. God bless you.